Okay, so on this question, <clears throat> we're supposed to solve this inequality for x. So let me, uh, let me bring it over here. And I'm going to go uh, negative. A little, bring it over here. Negative 4x less than negative 8. Okay. So we're trying to get x alone. You know, the, uh, it's like the wall of separation. The, the less than is kind of like the equal sign usually is it's the wall of separation. Okay. I'm trying to get x alone here. What do I have to do to get x alone? Can I, can I add 4 to both sides? Is that a good idea? You can tell by my tone it's not. <laughs> Why is that wrong? Anybody have an idea? Why is it? What's that? Because it's multiplied. Yeah, that's right. Well said. Yeah, so we have to get rid of it by dividing, don't we? Not adding, stretching. Yeah, because it's multiplied. Because that negative four is right next to the x with no symbol in between, no adding or subtracting in between. So it means it's times, the opposite of times is divide. Whenever we divide, we divide by the identical twin, by exactly what's next to x, and then that cancels. Okay, now here, I have an extra trick for you. Here we go. When we divide by a negative, well, it's actually when we um, multiply or divide by a negative, we must flip the symbol. So this symbol, cross out the old one, turn it the other way. Is that making sense? Whenever we multiply or divide by a negative, whenever we multiply or divide by a negative, you must flip the symbol. So I turned the symbol the other way. And then now from now on, it's the other way. And then what is negative eight divided by negative four? Well, two negatives become positive, don't they? And eight divided by four is just two, right? Four goes in eight two times. So there's my answer. And so that's what we put right here. That's, that's the answer that goes right on that line. And then how do we put that on the number line? Remember, that's going to be an open dot at two, and it's going to go to the right like that. Because x, you don't need to put an x, but, but the x is greater. This is greater than open dot, open dot, because two is missing. Right? Why? Because it's only greater, not equal. Right. If it said, if it said, let me change it. If it said x greater than or equal to two, I would have a solid dot. Remember that. So, greater than or equal, less than or equal, solid dot, because you're right on the number. But if you just have greater than or less than, open dot, because it's missing. We're saying, we're saying only numbers greater than two, like 2.1 or 2.01, but not two itself. Only numbers a little bigger than two, not two itself, not right on the money two. That, that spot is drilled out. It's missing. Only numbers bigger than two, like 2.01 and bigger. Only if they say greater than or equal, then we would include the two because then it can be equal to two. All right, but the big point of this example is the fact that we had to flip the symbol. So that's something you have to remember when it comes to solving greater than, less than questions. It's the main difference between greater than, less than, and equals. Otherwise, these things are just the same as solving an equals problem. Everything else is the same as far as all the steps we take, and everything's the same, except for this one thing. If you multiply or divide by a negative, you must flip the symbol. Now, now you might, if I was you, I'd be like, why? Why does math make up all these crazy rules to make life hard for us? <laughs> um, and, and the answer, of course, is because it's true. Let me show you. What if, what if I took something like, I don't know, um, uh, what's a good example? How about, 
how about four is bigger than two, right? Isn't that true? Isn't four bigger than two? Um, and if I, if I divide both sides by negative one and don't flip the symbol, that'll become negative four is bigger than negative two. Is that, is that a true statement? Let's, let's look on the number line. Is negative four really bigger than negative two? Here's, here's zero, one, two, three, four. You know, four was bigger than two, of course. But how about the negatives now? Where are they? Well, here's negative four and here's negative two. Who's really bigger? Negative two is greater than, so, so this is wrong, isn't it? See how, see how you have to flip the symbol now to make it true because the negative two now is on the wide side. He's the greater one, isn't he? You see that? Why? Because I divided by a negative. You see how when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you must flip the symbol or you lose the truth. That's all math is doing is following the truth. That's what I enjoy about it. It's not just opinion. It's true. That making sense, right? You see negative two is bigger. Negative two is to the right. Think about money. If you're $2 in debt, right? Negative is debt. I've been there. Um, if you're $2 in debt, that's better than being $4 in debt. Right, that's you're better off financially. It's a greater financial situation, even though they're both they're both bad. Right, negative two is greater, so negative two needs to be on the wide side of the symbol, not the narrow side. Which means what? Originally, two was on the narrow side because two positive two is smaller than four. But when you divide by a negative, it has to flip to keep with the truth that negative two is now the greater situation. So that's just proving. The math is just following what's true here. So you've got to remember, when you multiply or divide by a negative, you must flip the symbol on that one. And then are we good with using the, um, the tool? Let me, let me go there real quick. Make sure that's working for everybody. This is a little graphing tool, 2.7, number three here. Let me get it up on my screen so you can see it. All right, here's one I have. If I'm going to divide both sides here by... Uh, by uh, negative five, that'd be x greater than five. So there, I'll just show the answer. Yeah, x greater than five. Now, how do you put that on the number line? First, you grab the little arrow thing, and you go to five. Whoop, five, positive five this way. Greater means to the right. So I clicked right. I clicked on five, and then I go to the right, and I click again, and then I've got to get what the correct dot, solid or open. This would be open dot. A five, click, and submit, and it takes it. There you go. So let me go back to my iPad. And so there we go. So there's the answer. So remember, when you divide or multiply by a negative, you must flip the symbol x greater than 2, open dot to the right. There we go.